Hi there, folks. I'm here at uh, Tesla in Alexandria. I've come here to pick up my Tesla Model X. And uh, you know what happens when you're traveling from uh, elsewhere to pick up your car and it's after hours. Time now is uh, just half past uh, uh, six in the evening and uh, obviously Tesla is, is now closed. So what they do is they do something called a um, uh, after hours uh, pickup. Um, so they disable your, your key fob in the case of Model X and Model uh, uh, S. They disable the key fob, take the batteries out, keep the key fob inside, lock the doors. Uh, and then I came and just opened the car with the, uh, my uh, my Tesla app. So that's what they do if you're going to do a after hours pickup. Just a little bit of information for people who are doing this. Uh, and why am I here? I am here to pick up my Model X after the hardware 3.0 update. I'm quite excited to see more than cones. Uh, I've just been seeing cones ever since the new software uh, traffic visualizations came into place here in Australia a couple of months ago. I've just been seeing cones. So hashtag cones life uh, or cone life as they call it. Uh, now no more cones. I mean, yeah, cones as well, but I'm, I'll be seeing a lot more than cones now. I'll be seeing uh, all of the bins. Uh, and uh, tomorrow happens to be bin day. So I'm going to go and hunt every single bin uh, in Wollongong today uh, but i'm going to drive from here so right now i'm in alexandria uh, i'm going to drive from here to um uh, to wollongong and i think the fsd computer needs a little bit of time to sort of uh, uh optimize itself uh, if i remember right it can be anywhere between 50 kilometers to 150 kilometers ladies and gentlemen boys and girls this is nash from tesla and the gong Okay, now I'm ready to pick up my car. I'm going to show you what uh, the changes they made. But before we go, we have to make a plea to Elon Musk, isn't it? Elon, we want this one. We want this. We want FSD Beta for Australia. I really hope you choose one of us and we're happy to test it for you. Um, now that my car is ready with the 3.0, uh, you have no excuse. You have to give it to us. Elon Musk, if you're watching, we want FSD Beta here in Australia. FSD Beta Oz. Alright guys, now that I've made a complete fool of myself, begging Elon Musk for FSD beta here in Australia, I'm going to show you what they've done with my car. Now, first things first, I realize that they've changed both this screen as well as the screen behind the steering wheel. I'll tell you why. This screen looks super crisp now. All that yellowing that I used to have at the corner, I think I've shown that in an earlier video, all that is now gone. So all that yellowing effect is now disappeared and the screen is super crisp and while we're at it don't forget phantom lane 4 goes live tonight at 9 p.m i'm going to try and get this video up before we go live i'm going to answer all your questions on uh, the hardware 3.0 upgrade and uh, how it came through and stuff like that um so don't forget to tune in there so all that yellowing effect is gone it looks super crisp and it has always been super responsive, but now I seem to think that subjectively, at least, it, it feels a lot better. And uh, the screen is a little sharper as well. Definitely, definitely think so. And this one was always crisp, but uh, now it's become better. Obviously, you all know that uh, we need to calibrate the computer before FSD starts to work. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to check out some of the new menu options that have, uh, that have come up in my car. First of all, if you go into autopilot... I never used to have all this. I never used to have uh, green traffic light chiming. So I never used to have that. Turn that on. Why not? Why not? Um, full self-driving visualization preview. Go for it. Yeah, I've read this before. I have another video. Um, let's turn that on. And the traffic light stop sign control, which is in beta, needs calibration at 0% now. And I'm going to tell you how long it took for, for the calibration to happen. So let's set out a trip. Let's uh, reset trip A, reset that. So we have trip A at zero and we're going to drive and we're going to find out at uh, what distance the autopilot calibration comes through. So guys, I want to show you this calibration progress. It says, you see that small little blue line at the bottom of the autopilot icon uh, that has to go all the way around. It, it must form a full circle around and that's when calibration is complete. There seemed to be a rapid calibration up to 6.9 kilometers and then it started to slow down and it was more gradual till it reached 100%. There you go, 17.6 kilometers is what it took for the autopilot computer to completely calibrate itself. And now we're back in business. 
Now, we can't activate autopilot right away. I'm going to show you why and what you have to do. All right, what you need to do is to go back into settings and go into autopilot. And you'll see that all of these have switched themselves off. You remember we did turn them on in the earlier part of this video. So we'll have to go and click on all of that. Okay, let's click on auto steer. Okay, we click on navigate on autopilot, which is in beta. You can customize that, go into customize, and I'm going to keep Mad Max mode. Yeah, let's let's keep that. We can go into the uh, traffic light and stop sign beta. Click that on. And we turn on the rest of them as well. So we're ready to go now. Here you guys. Traffic lights are seen. Green light. Oh, this is really awesome. Of course, there's a lead car in front of me. So the car will just recognize the traffic lights. It does read the traffic signs as well. I'm really impressed. I'm really happy uh, that the car is finally able to do a lot more than what it came with. Now imagine this. Mine's a 2018 Model X and now I have... I was going to say, now I have the greatest and latest software and latest and greatest hardware. This is simply amazing. No other car company out there does this for us. I'm really impressed. Now, I had to stop to film this, obviously. I didn't want to drive and film. I didn't like that. You can see that. You see the visualization has become top notch. The screen is super crisp. And more importantly, this screen has become extremely crisp too. If you've seen my earlier videos, they don't look this crisp at all. It's sharp. It's really good. The resolution is fantastic. They've done something to the screen for sure. They've improved that. And uh, I, I noticed that when I when I click on the um, uh, uh, reverse button, I don't think they change the cameras, obviously. I think that the screen just does a lot of magic here. It's awesome. I really love this. And now, having come from uh, the Audi e-tron, I wish that our side repeater camera is a little better and a little crisper. Uh, if you're not seeing that video, just do check that out in my channel. I have the Audi e-tron review and the side-by-side -side comparison between an Audi e-tron and a Tesla Model X. guys i'm going to quickly record a, a clip now um i'm on the highway and i don't have any cars around me so I'm being as safe as possible my hands are on the steering wheel i've just um, uh, put the phone on the clip as well uh, focusing on the uh, steering wheel camera sorry steering wheel screen um my initial thoughts oh this is amazing they've changed both the screens and it's so crisp now that uh, the the the, the sunset has happened uh, it's changed to black mode or dark mode uh, before the dark mode um, screen used to be sort of a dull gray it's more jet black i don't think it translates onto the uh, onto the video very well but it's jet black now and that blue accents just stand out they pop quite a bit it's really amazing i'm really impressed i must say uh the other screen which i can't show you now the main mcu screen is super crisp and the dark mode it is gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous now i've got 2020.48.5 uh, which had the messaging and the tracks v.02 uh, update um it's it's really good uh, and i think there is a 48.10 update which has come for a few cars here in australia uh, but it's just bug fixes so 48.5 has almost the same features as uh, 48.10 uh, and I must say, I'm happy to report that FSD, I'm so sorry, FSD, oh dang it, I'm looking for FSD, aren't I? Um, the uh, autopilot is more stable now. It's definitely more stable and uh, it's better. Okay, somebody's trying to overtake me. I'm going to turn off this clip now. Check out this visualization. The arrow mark on the road, the traffic lights, stop signs. I love this. Completely love this update. Can't say that enough, I must say. Okay, this is the only time I think I'm feeling okay. So double tapping on this changes from um, uh, red to green because uh, the green light has come on. Ah, oh, this is awesome. 60 kilometers. The entire drive from Sydney has been phenomenal, I must say. It's been really good. Autopilot is more um sure now that's the right word to use it's more sure 
um, doesn't want to uh, take itself off of autopilot many of uh, very often. Um, it's very nice. I'm really liking this. I must say, I took the car out of autopilot twice. One is because there was a hoon who was trying to behave like a hoon <laughs> and tried to overtake my car at neck brake speed. I was like, wow, this guy is crazy. Okay, that's the first time I took the car out of autopilot. The second time I panicked. Um, there was a uh, um, uh, on-ramp coming off uh, from the side. Um, I completely panicked. And look at that, stopping for traffic control. Oh, look at that, I love this already. Oh, this is so good, this is so good. Okay, I'm gonna take this out of autopilot and do this manually. Oh, I got a new message from Kaushik. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, one more message from Kaushik. Okay, uh, Bite of Why is my other podcast that I do with Kaushik. Uh, and I have a, uh, a, uh, a smaller uh, synopsis as well. Uh, so if you are um, have not watched that yet, Bite of Why, um, there is a link in the description of this video. Please do check that out. Okay, today is bin day in my suburb. I must say I've never felt this happy seeing so many bins. Oh, heck yeah, this is awesome. Oh, look at them bins and more bins. <laughs>